Hey guys, even here, and today I have an interesting topic for you. It's gonna be about Ronnie Coleman and his comment about the modern bodybuilding and Brandon Curry. He was asked, what does he think about the modern bodybuilders? To which Ronnie just laughed. And when he was asked, does he agree with Dorian Yates saying that Brandon Curry wouldn't place in the top six in the 90s? He said that he agrees with that. What do you think about when you see these guys? These are some of the new guys that are competing versus your era. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't see it. Really? <laughs> Meaning they wouldn't be able to compete in your era at all? No, no, they wouldn't make the top five. They, did you hear what Yates said about Brandon Curry or no? No, I didn't hear. What did he say? And Yates said Curry wouldn't have placed in the top six in his era. He says Curry, in your, meaning in the era that he came prior to you and you I came afterwards. I kind of agree with that. You do kind of agree with him? Yeah. He doesn't think that uh, these guys that are making the top six today would even make the top five back in his era, in Ronnie Coleman's era. And also he agrees that they wouldn't do the same thing uh, in Dorian's era, which was prior to Ronnie's era. He said things that Nasser would destroy everybody today, that these guys today aren't even in the same class as him, they would stand no chance against Sean Ray, and if Flex was competing, they would make like the top 10. Why is that? Ronnie said it is because of the conditioning. Nobody is bringing conditioning today. Why is that happening? Ronnie would say that it's because of the era. Nobody is chasing somebody like Ronnie Coleman or Dorian Yates, so nobody is really pushed to the limits. And nobody doesn't really have to go to that extreme to look that good, to look that ripped and big at the same time. So they're looking at everybody else and like, well, they're not that good, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be just like that. I don't like have them. to bring yeah, it at that level. Yeah, I don't have to bring it at that it. level. It's a good argument. It makes a lot of sense. But how about we compare the Ronnie Coleman's era against today's era? So we're not going to compare Dorian Yates' era and the 90s. I already made a video about that, you can check it out, it's on my channel. But now we're going to focus on early 2000s, during which Ronnie won the majority of his titles, the majority of his Mr. Olympias, six to be precise. What's your eyes looking at? Because to nobody me, in, don't, nobody really looks in shape, you know? <laughs> nobody really looks in they shape. They look okay, you know? <laughs> wow, okay. You, you think so? They look okay. <laughs> Who do you oh, think they would they gonna beat none of the guys I face. So, so let me ask you: Could Nasser beat all these guys? Uh, easy. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. So, how about we start by comparing Ronnie Coleman to these guys, or should we start this? Because, in my opinion, I think uh, he's a different class completely. I don't think these guys have anything on Ronnie. I don't think it's even comparable. I do think that Ronnie was light years ahead of anybody that competes today, pretty much. And since 2010s, pretty much nobody but Kai and Phil could even challenge Ronnie. Kai could probably be pretty close with the size, but not with the completeness. Phil could challenge him with the completeness, but he was not this big, he was not this huge. So Ronnie is a special, special category, basically a whole other kind of beast. Pretty much. So let's not even compare Ronnie to anybody else. Let's go to the next best thing from the 2000s. And yeah, of course, that's Jay Cutler. And here you can see him from 2001, which is my personal favorite edition of Jay Cutler. But later in 2009, he was way more ripped. He was way more ripped, but his waist wasn't as small. His limbs weren't as big. Here, his proportions were just spot on perfect. But the conditioning got much better later on when he got older and once his uh, limbs got smaller and his waist got bigger. But anyways, here you can see him standing right there in the front of our bicep and uh, he looks amazing. He looks absolutely amazing. Is he a better bodybuilder than Brandon Curry and the other guys? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I could even make an argument that Jay, at his best, could be better bodybuilder than Phil Heat simply because of his overall size and mass. Phil is very complete, which gives him an amazing illusion, but uh, he was never as wide through the shoulders as Jay. So Jay Cutler, one of the best bodybuilders from the 2000s, the one who actually beat Ronnie Coleman, but when Ronnie was pretty much uh, at the end of his career. So next best thing would be Jay Cutler, and I think he is better than pretty much everybody who today. Of course, he would win the Mr. Olympia if he was in shape and as big as he was back in those days. 
So Jay Cutler definitely much better, but what about the others? Who are other 2000s bodybuilders that Ronnie was talking about other than the 90s guys that you also compared before? So we also had, uh, for example, Chris Cormier, who was probably high on cocaine while he was doing this show. So do I think Chris Cormier is a better bodybuilder than Brandon Curry? Well, that's a little bit questionable. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure because uh, you don't see them compared one next to another. And one thing I noticed from those old school bodybuilders is that they weren't really trying that hard to flex their glutes, to show glute separation. Now, Brandon Curry, the 2019 Mr. Olympia, he was watery, he was off, so his glutes weren't exactly peeled, but uh, I think they were, they were decent. So it's questionable. Is Chris Cormier better than Brandon Curry and the others? That's really a question, if you ask me. We also have guys like Victor Martinez, for example, the uncrowned 2007 Mr. Olympia, so-called. And was he better bodybuilder than Brandon Curry? Probably, probably. I mean, he, he's very close right there. More complete, though, with legs, but uh, not really light years ahead. What about guys like Marcus Stroll, Gunter Schlierkamp, Dennis Wolf also a little bit. He caught Ronnie in 2007. Also, we have Lee Priest. Kevin Lerone was still competing in the 2000s. Uh, so, a lot of bodybuilders, a lot of bodybuilders. But would Brandon Curry make the top five in Ronnie's era? I think that he would. I think so. I think Ronnie was uh, far-fetching it a little by saying that he wouldn't place in a top five or even top ten. That's just a little bit too harsh on our current Mr. Olympia. I don't think he's that bad. He's pretty bad. One of the worst Mr. Olympias ever, but top five in the early 2000s, I think that's very realistic. What do you guys think about this? Tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.